Hey guys, and welcome to another Scorpion Computers video. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about VNC servers. Now, if you don't know what a VNC server is, it's a way to connect to a computer from a different computer. And it's not like a TeamViewer application, like this is TeamViewer right here. And what that does is you can just connect real easy. But this is one that it's open all, all, all the time. Like you just connect without there even being anybody else on the line. So let's just say you have a laptop upstairs that you need to bring a music file on for your uh, for your friend or something and you only have the music file downstairs you don't want to burn it to a disk you want to put it on a flash drive or you could do a bunch of other stuff but this is just an example here's a here's an application to do this for you it's called ultra vnc it's right here it's the server and that's the viewer now the first thing you need to do is you need to install the server on the computer that you want to be able to be to be viewing and you have to install the viewer on a computer that you want to be like viewing on so the first thing you need to do is you have to open up the Ultra VNC server. And I already have it open, it'll be down here. It's a little blue eye. Oh, and by the way, it gives you the little um I like thing way to access it. 192.168.1.109. And that's what this by the way, this only works if it's on the same uh router as everybody else, you're on the same uh, network. But if you want to do it so you can just reach it from any other computer. I'll make a video about that later where you're going to have to go into your router settings and change a few things. But for now, let's just do this. So you're going to go in it. You're going to go admin properties. And you're going to have to make a password. Um, for my sake, let's just make it um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just click OK. OK, now, on the other computer, what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the viewer and you're going to have this and it's going to give you you're going to have to connect to 19 you can have to connect to 192.168.1.109 and just click connect and since this is the same computer you'll get like a bunch of weird things so um I'm going to be right back I'm going to go do this on my on my laptop upstairs and I'll show it to you guys. So, uh, see you guys later. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back outside with my netbook. And uh, as I said earlier, I'm just going to go, I'm going to head to VNC Viewer. And it, as I said earlier again, it's 192.168.1.109. It'll be different for you guys. And as I said earlier again, the password is 12345. So let's log on. Okay, and we're about to see my computer. Hey guys, okay, this is it. Uh, this is my computer right here. As you can see, I can control it. Let's just say, let's just go to... Let's open up Firefox. And this is uh, scorpionbc.com right now. And let's just go to YouTube. You can watch a quick video. Stuff like that. It's nice and simple. And uh, just if you guys are trying to do this, and uh, on the back of your screen when you join it, there won't be a wallpaper and there won't be like arrow. Like Vista won't look, be looking pretty. And you can dis you can it's automatically disabled wallpapers and arrow so if you want to put them back on you have to go to administrative properties and just like uncheck the boxes So as you can see flash player works well it's just a little bit laggy because of course you're controlling a different computer over the internet so there's gonna be some lag so uh... we're gonna go check back to my original computer and i'll show you guys a little bit of more add-ons you can do with this it's actually pretty cool but for now i'm just gonna end this wait but first i want to close firefox I don't know. I want to see if it works or not. Okay. Uh, that right there. Close. It'll take a little while to load. Okay. There we go. Okay, guys. I'm going to head back downstairs now. See you guys, I'll, and I'll be right back.
Hey guys, um, I'm back on my main computer again, as you can see. Now I'm gonna go back to the VNC server. I'm gonna go to admin properties. And remember how I said before how, um, if you were to do this right now, just from like without messing with any of the properties, the back your your w whole wallpaper here that would be a uh, that'd be just black, and you wouldn't have any arrow. So what I did was I went to miscellaneous here. After I go to admin properties, of course, and you have to this box and this box would be checked. So just simply uncheck both of those and click OK. Now another thing is if you'd like to if you'd like to make this a little bit more secure, you can click require MS logon and then configure MS logon groups. And you can make an admins group and click OK uh, and local. So it'll only work there. And you can like make another group just for domains, which I'll talk about in a video later on. But uh, for now, that's about it. This has been a Scorpion Computer video, and thank you very much for watching.